culture nowadays. Do you have any advice for people that wanted to learn more about, uh, uh, about uh, different native communities or native nations in terms of book resources or where people should go if they wanted to learn more about the, the Lakota or the Ojibwa people? What would you advise them to do to learn more about them? Well, if you want to learn from books, of course, you've got the libraries, but you can go to bookstores like Barnes & Noble. Usually they have a, <coughs> a section on <coughs> a section on Native Americans, and uh, you can go through the books. I remember Barnes and Noble years ago used to have a big section on Native peoples, and you could look up a certain tribe, and there'd be two or three books on that tribe. You know, and there's a lot, a lot of good books out there, um, usually written by non-Indians, but nowadays a lot of our people are becoming good writers, and they publish their books. Ed, Ed McGaw Eagleman, from, originally from Pine Ridge, <clears throat> has written a lot of good books. Mother Earth Spirituality is, was his first book. And uh, I'm, I'm one of the, the first people to write so much. I haven't published a book yet, but almost all my artworks have verses that I've composed. And we didn't used to do that. But uh, I kind of started a trend for, for a lot of people, you know, where people encourage them to, to write about it. Because usually history books are written by the conquerors, not the ones that lost. Well, we need to start talking about our side of history, our perspective. Great. Great. Anything else that, that comes to mind? Um, or, or do you want to share about stories or storytelling as we're wrapping up today? Do I work? Any, any other advice or things people should know about, about storytelling and, and, <clears throat> and your heritage as we're wrapping up? Well, just, it's just so important to, to tell stories to your children and your grandchildren. Uh, you know, try to break them away from the TV and the smartphone and the computer enough time to even read a book. You know, read a book to them when they're little. Uh, I hope society doesn't lose the ability to read books. Um, and of course, you can get books now on your on your smartphone or whatever you call it, iPad. To me, I got a feel of book. I love the feel of a book and turning pages, not pushing buttons. You know, to change it. That's just me. I am ancient fashion, by the way. Um, but, uh, gosh, I, I hope parents and grandparents don't totally give up reading books to their, to their very young so they learn to appreciate books. I can see the day when people aren't going to pay any attention to books anymore. I'm glad I won't live to see that day, but, you know, it's too bad. Okay, well, thanks a lot. Okay.